Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are going to be making this lovely ornament. Uh, we're going to crochet around an ornament. So if you have an ornament bulb, um, this one is super small. It just fits in the palm of my hand. But you can make the, you can get those really large ball uh, bulbs, and um, you can make small ones, large ones. I show in the video how to make this larger or smaller, uh, depending on which size bulb you have. Um, before we get started, um, I'll give you all the information for the supplies you need. So we need an ornament bulb, obviously. I'm using a glass one today. I do recommend using the plastic ones. You can get it at any craft store. And um, we'll need one of these hooks as well because we're going to hang this on the Christmas tree. And the type of yarn I'm using, I don't actually have the label for this yarn, but it is a thinner yarn. Um, it is... Let's see, I think it's a Red Heart Holiday, but I don't, don't quote me on that. It is one, two, three, four, size four, medium, or is that five? Well, if you unwind it, I think it's five. Yes, so there's five ply in there. Um, I got this just for a gift and I lost the label, but uh, if you know the type of yarn, please leave a comment to this video and let us all know what type of yarn this is. It's very helpful when we see other crocheters who know um, what type of yarn this is, but it is a holiday yarn. I have it in red as well with the sparkles in there. So red and green, awesome, for the holidays. So I'm gonna use this yarn today. You can use any worsted weight or any any type of uh, yarn. You can use Simply Soft, Care on Simply Soft is very nice to use as well. The size hook we are going to use is an E size hook, which is three and a half millimeters. So make sure you have that handy. And we're going to need a scissors and a yarn needle as well. So make sure you have those um, because we'll be sewing in our ends and cutting our yarn as well. Before we start, I do want to mention to check out the links in the description of this video. It will have links to my Facebook. Uh, make sure to join me on Facebook. And if you make this or make any of my projects, share your photos. I love, love, love to see your pictures. And get inspiration from other crocheters as well on our page. Our page is just our community is just growing so fast and thank you so much for all your support and um, you can get the link also to my blog where you can find out where to get the written pattern for this lovely ornament so get that uh, in the description of this video also check out my instagram uh, you can hashtag yarn utopia if you make anything crocheted i would love to see your work so hashtag yarn utopia so i can see your work and then also follow me on Snapchat so you can see behind the scenes footage of what I like to do when I'm not crocheting or when I am crocheting and get, um, you know, sneak peeks into my life. Also support me here on YouTube. Um, check out my channel, subscribe to my channel and support us so we can keep bringing you more crochet videos. And lastly, before we start... I do want to mention I've been getting comments about my nail color quite often, so I want to show you the nail color I'm using today is Sinful Colors, and it is the color Ruby Ruby. So if you like this color, you can get it at any department store, you know, CVS, Walgreens, wherever. So that's the color I'm using. But uh, I just want to thank our videographer and editor of this video, Fouad Azmat, for taking the time out to make this video with us. But let's just get started in making this lovely ornament. All right, to start out, we want to make a slip knot. So put the short end over the long end, fold that down, and then pull that through and pull tight, insert your hook, and we're ready to go. Now we have to chain three, so yarn over and pull through one, two, and three, and in the third chain from the hook we're going to put a double crochet. So the loop that's on your hook never counts as anything, so we're going to count one, two, three and then yarn over for a double crochet. We're gonna go into that chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, okay? And then yarn over and pull through the last two loops. Okay, that's a double crochet. 
Now we need to chain two, so yarn over, pull through, one and two. And now we're going to make something called a double crochet two together or a double crochet decrease. And that is yarning over, going back into, we're working into that same uh, chain space all the way around, okay, for this round one. So yarn over, go into that chain space, yarn over, pull through. So now you have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through two of those loops. Then you're going to hold it. You're going to yarn over and we're going to go back into that chain space. Then yarn over and pull that through. Then yarn over and pull through two loops. So now you have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. Okay, that's a double crochet two together. And now we're going to chain two, one and two. And then we're going to repeat that. So put a double crochet two together. So yarn over, go into that chain space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, hold it, yarn over, go into that chain space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. So now you have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. Okay, so essentially it looks like we have three groups here, three groups of two. We want to have a total of three of um, eight groups of two. So and in between each grouping of two, it looks like two, but it's just one because it's a double crochet two together. Uh, in between each one of them, we want to chain two. So chain two, one and two. Yarn over, go back into that chain space. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, go back into that chain space. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Chain two, one and two. Yarn over, go into that chain space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, go back into the chain space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through three loops. Chain two, one and two, and do that again. So you want to, it wants, or you want to look like you have eight groupings. Here. So I'll show you I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need to do two more. Make sure you chain two and then put them in. So that's seven. Chain two. And this is my last one here. So I have a total of eight groupings. Oops. One, two, three, yarn over, pull through all three. And then once you finish your eighth one, so we have this uh, beginning chain up two and double crochet right here, we are going to chain two and then slip stitch to that beginning double crochet. So do not slip stitch to the chain up two. Go directly into the uh, double crochet stitch, yarn over, pull through, and pull through well, let me show you that again because I just screwed that up. Go into that stitch, yarn over, pull through, and through here for a slip stitch. Okay? So now you can see you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight groupings and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chain two spaces. So now we can go on to row round number two. We want to slip stitch into this first chain two space. So go into that chain two space, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. So now we are in the chain two space, and now we want to chain up two. So yarn over, pull through, one and two. And then we want to put a double crochet in there as well. Okay, now we want to chain, let's see here, chain two, one and two, and then put a 
let's see, chain two, double crochet two together in the same chain two space. So yarn over, go into this chain two space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, go back into that chain two space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. Just like that. Now we want to uh, double crochet it two together in the next chain two space and do that all the way around and chain two. So in the next chain two space right here we are going to do a double crochet two together Okay, then chain two, and then put another one in there. Okay, then hop over to the next one, double crochet two together. then chain two and then put another double crochet two together in that same chain two space. That's what we have to do all the way around. So then jump to the next chain two space. We're going to put a double crochet two together, chain, chain two, one and two, and then double crochet two together. Oopsie, I finished my double crochet there. Let's start that over, chain two, and double crochet two together. There we go, jump to the next one, double crochet two together, chain two, and double crochet two together. Okay, so do that all the way around, just jump to the next chain two space, double crochet two together, chain two, double crochet two together, jump to the next space, and I'll meet you up when we are going to attach to the beginning. Alright, so I came back around, so this is what it should look like, and we are just going to slip stitch to the beginning double crochet. Don't slip stitch to this chain up two here. Just go into the first double crochet here, yarn over, pull through, and through just like that, okay? Now for round three, we want to slip stitch into the chain two space right here. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through and through, and then chain up two, one and two, and then insert a double crochet into that same space right there. Okay, now uh, for round three, we want to um, chain two, one and two, and then put another, or put a double crochet two together in that same chain two space we were just working in. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, hold it, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And now we're going to chain one, and then hop over to the next chain two space. So we're skipping these stitches right here, and we're hopping to the next chain two space, and we're putting a double crochet two together, then a chain two, and then a double crochet two together in the same space. Then chain one, hop over to the next chain two space and put, and just repeat that. So put two, uh, a double crochet two together, chain two, and then a double crochet two together in there. Okay, and then chain one. Okay, and then hop over to the next chain two space and just repeat that. So between um, each Thing, we have to chain two in this one, but then once you're going to hop over to the next chain two space, you make sure you chain one in between those. Okay, so at this point, we're going to chain one and then hop over to the next chain two space, put our double crochet two together, chain two and double crochet two together. 
and then chain one. So I'll meet you up at the end of this round and we'll go on to round four together. Once we're finishing up here, make sure to chain one and then slip stitch to the beginning double crochet of this round by yarning over, pulling through and through, just like that. Now for round four, we want to slip stitch into the chain two space right here and then chain up two, one and two and double crochet in that same chain two space and then chain two one and two and put a double crochet two together into that chain two space that we're still working in. Okay, now we want to chain two, one and two, go into the next chain two space. Okay, so skip this chain one space and these two um, groupings here. Go into the next chain two space and put your double crochet two together, chain two, double crochet two together. Then we want to chain two, one and two, skip this chain one space, go into this next chain two space for our double crochet two together, chain two and double crochet two together. Whoops, I finished off that double crochet again. There we go, just like that. Chain two, one and two, skip this chain one space, go into this chain two space for the same thing. So just repeat that all the way around and then I'll meet you up at the end of this round and we'll go on to round five together. All right, so when you're finishing up, just chain two and then slip stitch to the beginning. Whoops. Slip stitch to the beginning double crochet of this round. Okay. Now at this point, um, my yarn is pretty stretchy and um, the ball of um, the ornament ball I'm using is not very big. So um, I'm going to set this in here and make sure that it does fit around it and it does. So I'm done increasing at this point. If your ball, um, if, it, if it's not fitting around uh, this middle part here, um, the middle of your ball, if you can see the center line of your ball from the top to the bottom and your your piece is not at that point, which mine is, you can see here. At that point, I'm done increasing and I would just have to do a few more rows. If your ball is bigger than this and it's not at the midpoint, um, between these uh, double crochet two together, chain two, double crochet two together, this it looks like a V stitch actually between them just chain extra then so for the next round you would do the double crochet two together chain two double crochet two together and then chain three skip this chain two space and go into this space for a double crochet two together double crochet or chain two double crochet two together then chain three and then the row after that chain four in between them the net row after that chain five if you need to but at this point, when you're done increasing, which I am done increasing, we are going to go on to round five, which is a, then a repeat then of round four. So slip stitch into the uh, chain two space there, chain up two, one and two, and double crochet in there, and then chain two, one and two, and put a double crochet two together in that same space and then chain two and then jump over to the next uh, grouping here skip this chain two space go into the next one here for the double crochet two together and chain two double crochet two together chain two, skip the next chain two space, go into the next chain two space for a double crochet two together, chain two and double crochet two together. Okay, and we are going to repeat this process for round five and round six, just repeat round four for rounds five and six, and then once I am done with round six, 
I'll meet you up and we'll go on to round seven together. We're going to start decreasing. All right, so I'm just finishing up here. I just have to chain two and then we're going to slip stitch to the beginning here. I just finished rounds five and six. They were a repeat of round four. Okay, at this point we want to, I'm just going to pull this out a little bit and remove my hook. And if you do have a straggler inside, I'm just going to pull this up here. If you have this straggler inside, just make sure you sew that in because you do not want to see that through uh, the stitches on your ornament and be weird looking. So make sure that you, if you haven't already, sew this in and trim it so that no one can see this. Okay, and then put that back in. And now, at this point, we are going to insert our ornament, being careful because it is glass. If you get the plastic ones, awesome. It's probably safer. <laughs> okay, so make sure that it is in there, nice and secure. Okay, and now we can decrease. So now we're going to be working around the ornament for the rest of the pattern, but you can see the lovely pattern it has that looks really nice so far so let's just close this up now if you are able to uh, take this part off um, that's awesome you can continue working then around that uh, but if you're unable to it's really no big deal so I'm just gonna shove that back in there and they're always so difficult Oh, I'll, I'll do that off camera. Anyway, so I'm just going to work with it like this for now with that off. And what we're going to do for the next round is slip stitch into that chain two space right here. Yarn over, pull through and through. Chain up two, one and two. Double crochet into that same chain two space. Okay, and then chain two, one and two, and then put a double crochet two together in that same chain two space. And you really have to get coordinated because now we're working around with the ball in there. Now we only want to chain one, and then skip this chain two space and go into the next chain two space right here between these groupings, and put our double crochet two together and then our chain two one and two and then our double crochet two together in that same chain two space okay then chain one Skip the next chain two space, go into the next chain two space for our double crochet two together, chain two, double crochet two together, and then chain one, and then just do that all the way around so it'll start to get a little tighter around this piece. And we're almost done, just two more rounds after this. And I'll meet you up when we go on to the next round together. Alright, at this point I am just finishing up this round. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. This was round seven. So chain one and then attach to the first double crochet of this round by slip stitching. Okay, so going on to round eight, we're going to slip stitch into this chain two space and then chain two, one, and two. And now we're going to put a double crochet in here, in the same spot, and then we're not going to do anything else in there. We're going to skip over to this next chain two space. So skip this chain one space, go into the next chain two space for a double crochet two together. By itself, just like that. Then skip this chain one space, go into the next chain two space for a double crochet two together. And it's going to start to get really tight around. So you really have to manipulate the yarn to fit 
this piece, then hop over to the next chain two space. So skip this chain one space here, go into the next chain two space for a double crochet two together. Okay, hop over to the next chain two space. For the double crochet two together. Okay, and just do that all the way around. We're just putting a double crochet two together into each chain two space around. Just like this. And you'll feel it, you'll make sure that it's getting tighter and tighter around. I just have two left here. Just be careful with the glass if you are using a glass ornament. It's probably a better idea to use those plastic ones, but I don't have any so. Alright, on my last space here, double crochet two together. Awesome. Now slip stitch to the beginning, the beginning double crochet of this round, slip stitch, okay, and looks like we're all closed up there, so it's around that little hole there. So now we can fasten off, Just I like to just chain one and cut my yarn and then pull it all the way through, pull tight. And you can just stick that right into that center there. Or you can sew it in. Sew in your end if you need to. I'm just going to stick it right inside of there. And then take this. And hopefully this works this time. They're so difficult to do. They just snap. There we go. Put that on there. Make sure that your end is in there. And there you have it. A lovely ornament. Crochet around. And then take your nice hook. And you have an ornament that can go right on the Christmas tree. It's so beautiful and sparkly. And you can use any color yarn you want on any bulb you want. I am going to make some more and I have um, a red ball which I want to put, you know, a different color on around that. Or you can get, you know, different colors so you can see the ornament through the ball itself. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure, again, like I said earlier, to check out the links in the description of this video so you can... Um, get the written pattern. I'll have the where you can find where to get the written pattern for this project. And also make sure to uh, like my Facebook page and share your photos on Facebook if you make this, if you make this in different colors or the same color or are super creative and make all my other items as well. Make sure to check out my Facebook page and get inspiration from other crocheters there too. Our community is growing so fast and I'm so grateful for all of you being there. I love seeing your work. Make sure to check out my Instagram as well. Make sure to follow me there. And if you make something like this or make any of my projects, make sure to hashtag Yarn Utopia so I can see your work and I will like it and comment on it. And make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Um, I like to put a new video out once or twice a week, or I'm sorry, one or two videos out every week. So make sure to subscribe so you can get updates on when I put new videos out there. And make sure to su support us. Um, go to my your YouTube channel and on the right hand side there's a blue button and it says support. And make sure to support us so we can keep bringing you fantastic crochet tutorials. So thank you so much for watching. Happy hooking!